COVID-19 outbreak has created a sense of panic globally and has the medical community rapidly searching for the answers. Convalescent plasma is being investigated for the treatment of COVID-19 as there are some studies that suggest it might help some patients recover from this disease. In this video, we will talk about what is convalescent plasma, how is it beneficial, we'll talk about the studies who have used plasma therapy, FDA approval, and also about the limitations of using plasma therapy in COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2. Do watch this video till the end. Welcome to Intellect Medicos, where learning is made easy by Dr. Shruti and Dr. Chirag Madan. Information provided by Intellect Medicos is not meant to substitute for medical advice by any physician or experienced healthcare professional. Always seek advice from your physician about the clinical condition and usage of particular treatment or therapy. So now let's start. What is this convalescent plasma? Convalescent actually means that a person has recently recovered from illness and the plasma is a yellowish liquid component of blood. It is around 55% of body's total blood volume. It contains albumin, globulins, mainly immunoglobulins or antibodies, which play an important part in immunity, and fibrinogen, which is responsible for blood clotting. When attacked by a pathogen, our immune system produces proteins called as antibodies to fight the infection. If the infected person can produce sufficient antibodies, he can recover from the disease caused by that pathogen. The idea behind convalescent plasma therapy is that such immunity can be transferred from a healthy recovered person to a sick patient using blood plasma. So in this therapy, blood from recovered patient which is rich in antibodies is used to treat other sick people. This method has been used in past to treat diseases like 1918 flu epidemic and in previous outbreaks of respiratory infection similar to COVID-19 like SARS, MERS, H1N1 and H5N1 avian flu. A systemic review and meta-analysis to evaluate the clinical effects of convalescent plasma shows a statistically significant reduction of mortality. In this context, convalescent plasma can be a promising treatment option for severe COVID-19 patients. Let's see the studies on convalescent plasma. A study was published in JAMA on 27th March, which was conducted in Shenzhen, China. This is a case series of five critically ill patients with laboratory confirmed COVID-19 and acute respiratory distress syndrome, that is ARDS, who met the following criteria. First, severe pneumonia with rapidly progression and continuously high viral load despite antiviral treatment. PaO2 by FiO2, that is partial pressure of oxygen in arterial blood divided by fraction of oxygen in the inspired air, less than 300. And also patients who are on mechanical ventilator. These patients received transfusion with convalescent plasma with a SARS-CoV-2 specific antibody, that is IgG, binding titer greater than 1 is 2000. Finally, in conclusion, they found that administration of convalescent plasma containing neutralizing antibodies was followed by improvement in their clinical status. Although the limited sample size and the study design preclude a definitive statement about the potential effectiveness of this treatment, and these observations require evaluation in clinical trials. There is another study conducted by K. Doan et al. In this study, 10 severe patients confirmed by real-time viral RNA test were enrolled prospectively. One dose of 200 ml of convalescent plasma derived from recently recovered donors with the neutralizing antibody teeters above 1 is 2, 640 was transfused to the patient as an addition to the maximal supportive care and antiviral agents. No severe adverse effects were observed. This study showed CP therapy was well tolerated and could potentially improve the clinical outcome 
to neutralizing viremia in severe COVID-19 cases. The optimal dose and time point as well as the clinical benefit of CP therapy needs further investigation in larger well-controlled trials. Based on the studies and clinical trials, the FDA has approved the emergency use of investigational COVID-19 convalescent plasma to treat severely ill or immediately life-threatening COVID-19 patients. Severe disease is defined as one or more of the following. Patients having shortness of breath, that is dyspnea, or having a respiratory rate more than equal to 30 per minute. Blood oxygen saturation less than equal to 93%. Partial pressure of arterial oxygen to fraction of inspired uh, oxygen ratio, that is PaO2 by FiO2 less than 300. Lung infiltrates more than 50% within 24 to 48 hours. Life-threatening diseases is defined as one or more of the following. Patients having respiratory failure, septic shock, multiple organ dysfunction or failure. COVID-19 convalescent plasma will be collected from recovered individuals with, first of all, prior diagnosis of COVID-19, second, complete resolution of symptoms at least 14 days prior to the donation. Third, a negative PCR result for, for COVID-19. And fourth, defined SARS-CoV-2 neutralizing antibody titers optimally more than 1 is to 320. There are still limitations for the use of convalescent plasma. Scientific evidence is insufficient due to lack of large-scale clinical trials that may be representative of target populations. Secondly, the number of antibodies administered to each patient was not standardized. Finally, convalescent plasma usually proceed with other treatments such as antiviral agents or steroids, which can affect the relationship between convalescent plasma and antibody, confounding the results. So, well-designed studies are needed to demonstrate the efficacy and safety of convalescent plasma transfusion in COVID-19 patients. This is all about plasma therapy till now. I'll, uh, I'll come up with new video if any update of treatment or management comes. Till then, take very good care of yourself and your loved ones. Take appropriate precautions like good hand washing. Refrain yourself from going to the marketplaces or crowded places. Thank you guys for watching this video. Stay healthy and safe.